My hair was like a second job. Now I'm forced to focus on myself. I wonder who I'll be. All right, now I see you, Miss Sanaa Lathan, going with the ball look. You look good, sis. You look good. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Napoli Ever After, a Netflix original. I really do appreciate it. So I've been hearing about this movie for a while. It debuted on Netflix a couple of weeks ago, and I'm a little late to the party, but that is okay. It is better to be late than never. Now, this film, Napoli Ever After, I can't even talk right, Napoli Ever After, the director is uh, Hafe Al Mansour. She is the first female director in Saudi Arabia. I just think that's kind of dope there. And uh, she did a pretty good job in this film right here. And, you know, th this right here got really got me excited as a Netflix original. I'm just like, man, I wish they want, to, I wish they would have more films like this on Netflix. I mean, it's just like the perfect sit at home movie, in my opinion. But Napoli Ever After, it stars Sanaa Lathan. Uh, it also stars Lyric Bent, who was also an acrimony that came out earlier this year. And I'll just go ahead and say this lyric bent did a much, much, much better job in this film than he did in that film. But what Napoli Ever After is about is Sanaa Lathan. She appear, she had, her character's name is Violet. Um, she appears to have the perfect life. She has the perfect job, the perfect home, the perfect hair. Of course, what the movie is about. She has the perfect boyfriend and, you know, she's waiting to get proposed to. But unfortunately, that just doesn't happen. And she blames it on her hair and she just wants to cut it off. Now, this movie is very important to me. Um, it just goes to show how black people uh, in this country, uh, black Americans, especially black women, are conditioned on like what the standards of beauty are to where we have to have a uh, long straight hair uh, sometimes blonde in some cases to be beautiful and that is just not the case what this film what kind of does is just takes that idea that ideology and just chunks it into space and never needs to be seen again and I really do appreciate that now uh, Sanaa Lathan you know uh, she was just saying in real life that you know she cut her hair uh, to film this film and she really did go bald and she said okay it was kind of intimidating or whatever but you know she gained her confidence and was able to go run errands and it was just empowering and what this film really does is just kind of just shows that just like hey ladies hey black women especially you know your hair is beautiful the way it was designed to come out of your head and don't think any don't don't think anything different than that and then, you know, she kind of, I, I, I liked the character Violet in this movie because, you know, there was just a lot of growth to her. I mean, at one point in the movie where she's trying to have sex with her dude, she won't even allow her dude to, you know, touch her hair or whatever. And that's just kind of insane. Now, I understand my sisters, y'all spend a lot of money on your hair and all that good stuff. And we, I appreciate all the work you do. And I'm not saying that I just want to rub my fingers through your hair all the time. But if I'm never, ever able to run my fingers through your hair or whatever, that's just going to be a kind of a turnoff to me. And this film really did put that on the forefront just to be like, you know, hey, you know, my sister, you need to relax. You know, uh, it, it brings me uh, to uh, the artist Drake when he put it in his song that came out many, many years ago because it, it just holds so much weight. This line where he goes, um, hair tie, sweats on, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the purity, prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. Ladies, he is not lying when he says that. I mean, seriously, I would rather meet a woman at the grocery store with her sweats on and house shoes then you know done up like she is at the club or something like that because that's just not the real you and you know there's actually a line in this movie that talks about that like like violet you never let your hair down i mean i think it's actually in the trailers or whatever so i mean it's just great there and you know there is romance in this movie this is kind of a romantic comedy right here but the film does not focus on that i mean there isn't the typical the film is called napoli ever after but at the same time it isn't the, stip the, the typical stereotypical happily ever after to where at the end of the film, she falls in love with the new person that's accepting her for who he is. And her current, current boyfriend is mad, you know, and bitter and, you know, wants her to be perfect with straight hair. No, 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 no. 
it, it has nothing to do with that at all. And that's one of the best things I liked about the film. I mean, it's the, the film really ends on just female empowerment and black female empowerment, especially just like, don't care what nobody thinks. Rock the rock, whatever the way you want to gain confidence that way. And you'll be able to pull even more than you did before with your straight hair or whatever you thought was perfect. You know, and it, it, it just, I mean, they're just so, I mean, the, I was about to, I mean, this film has a lot of deep things in it, but at the same time, I don't know if it would have worked on the big screen because, you know, I still would have just wanted more. Like I said at the beginning of this film, it's like the perfect sit at home movie to where you can learn something about. It. I mean, please, if you have a little black girl, black daughter, please sit her down and like watch this movie. I mean, it's just about self love, eliminating self hate, empowering yourself, and all that good stuff. And, you know, I, I just thought it was a great film. Uh, Sana Lathan. Uh, she had a great performance. You know, when she's cutting off her hair in the movie, you feel her pain, you feel her emotion. You can relate to her, you know, and just how she's trying to transition, you know, from this new look from, you know, what she was conditioned to in the past. And, you know, because black people, black Americans in this country, we have been conditioned to things so many ways. And that's why, like, you know, white America or, you know, our African brothers and sisters are worldwide. They just look at us like, what's wrong with black people? Why can't they get their stuff together? Why is this? Why is that? I mean, we just been conditioned to think of certain way we've been conditioned to like hate ourselves and love white people and love white people's wealth and look at white people as gods and look at white women's stances of beauty the way we should look and it, it's just crazy and but before i go i'll just say one thing that's just really important to me is a, a couple of years ago i was working uh with a nigerian girl at a company that i no longer work for she no longer works for uh, she's Nigerian. She was born in Nigeria. She came to the United States. I think she said when she was 21 or 22 years old. And at the time she was telling me what I'm about to tell you, I think she was like 28 or 29. And she was like, Brandon, I had no idea that there was a problem being black until I moved to America. I'm like, wow, you don't say. So imagine what black Americans or even some Africans that was born here came over when it was one, two or three years old, how they think growing up at that young age from birth and what my mom and dad and my grandparents and great grandparents and they're instilling that ideology upon us. So I just said it to say that, you know, we've been conditioned so many ways uh, you know, some people may not like this movie and call it predictable and stuff like that. I disagree. Uh, I, I, I think that everyone should watch this movie, especially if you're black. And um, I, I really did enjoy this film. And just the last thing that I just want to say real quick before I uh, give my rating that, you know, I love everybody, whether you are red, white, black, yellow or brown. But I especially love my black people even more and even more than that, my black women. And to all my black, beautiful uh, sisters out there, whether you yellow bone, chocolate tone, dark skin, caramel, whatever. I want to let you know that your natural hair that God designed to grow out of your head is beautiful. And don't let nobody tell you otherwise. If I had to rate Napoli ever after out of a one out of 10, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Yes, an 8.5 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen Napoli ever after or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. Please and do subscribe to my channel. I have a goal right now. I want to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, 12-31-2018. And I can only reach that goal. I can only reach that milestone by your help by you subscribing to this and sharing this video with all your family and friends you can also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all of that good stuff is right there at the bottom of the screen and i made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for napoli ever after a netflix original and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion Peace.